There's a look from General Tire on the rock and some of the action that took on at the King of the Hammers. I gotta say, Ken, before we ever got here, when we were doing our studying and so forth for this event, in a million years, I would have never guessed the reason that that one of hey, was called Scooter's Canyon. Leave it to Rob. He would find the answers to that one. As we go back to our leader here, Shannon Campbell, and Shannon's had a great run through here, but not without his fair share of problems. A couple of flat tires along the way, so everybody deals with adversity. You have to handle it, though, as quickly as possible. Jason Schur doing a great job as well, as he currently sits in third. Yeah, and this is a good machine right here, we're sure. As we look at Randy Schloss's machine, this is your fourth place machine as both drivers in third and fourth do have co-drivers. Now, at the end of the day, my thought process is this. Yeah, it might be good if you get in a little bit of trouble, but at the end of the day, you're still carrying a couple hundred more pounds. And, you know, we heard it mentioned before as well, once again, Shannon Campbell here, but when you stand back and you look at this terrain, it does, it blows you away. There's, you can sling yourself through, there's no way anything is driving through here. But to watch them come through and then negotiate their way through, it's amazing. Yeah, certainly anything wheel-driven. I mean, you know, you might think that, that maybe a quad, you know, a really high-dollar quad might, as Shannon Campbell will come home your winner here today. It is a big, big deal, so congratulations to him. Here's how it all shakes down. Tony Pellegrino hangs on to second, and Jason Shear rounds out the top three. Shannon Campbell coming to a stop here. Uh, the first repeat winner in uh, King of the Hammers. He went back in 2008. The first two-time winner, I should say. A pretty brutal course out there. But uh, for the lack of a better term, my friend, you put on a clinic here today. Well, thanks. I, like I said, I got lucky. There's a bunch of guys out there that were – Jason was passing me back and forth, and he must have turned it up a little too much and broke something. But no, thanks to everybody for all the help, and thank everybody for coming out here and watching me tear my junk up. <laughs> Bevel guy. <laughs> a lot of fun. That's what it's all about. One year ago, Tony Pellegrino finished 14th at the King of the Hammers. This year, roll off 41st, six hours, 42 minutes and change. Here we are, second overall. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's awesome. I, this is a dream come true to be able to come to this race, compete with these, the best drivers in the world, 100 of them, and uh, come in this well. I owe a lot of thanks to my wife, my lead fabricator, Darren, and all my sponsors. It's just an unbelievable day. That's what it's all about, and it is. It's not just one person. It's a whole team. Jason Shear crossing the line in third. It's been a pretty crazy day. We saw you out there battling with Shannon for the lead, and then uh, all of a sudden something leaking to the rear end. What happened? You know what? Uh, it was a great race. We really had fun out there the whole day. Uh, the battles were intense. I couldn't even believe how hard we were going back and forth. I mean, I've seen people pass each other, and then you maybe get passed back, but this was like three or four times as hard as we could drive the cars. Uh, all the parts on the car worked good except for a couple little things, so we'll be back to get them next time. Thanks for watching this episode of Lucas Oil on the Edge. For Ken Stout, Brian Olson, and Rob Klepper, I'm Sarah Daly. We'll see you next time with more competitive adrenaline-fueled motorsports. And remember, you're not living unless you're on the edge.